Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you all the cool things that come in when you bring in clips and YouTube videos via a URL into your brand new producer session. So if you look at your TVU producer session on the left hand side you have a bunch of buttons here. The only one that matters right now is the clip player. We'll be going over all the other ones at a later date or in a previous video. If you click on clip player, now one thing I want to point out is that the clip player ties in to the source that says add clip player as well. For me, it's source nine. If you have the four input source, it might be source five. You know, that, that source can change, but it ties into whichever one says add clip player in your brand new session. So I will click on the clip player and it brings up this list. Now I've already uploaded two videos here, right? Cause this is an entire playlist. At the same time, you can even share this link down here with a clip producer where they could be offsite working as only clips. They could be uploading clips as they happen in real time. Uh, if people were sharing them via social media, and you guys were downloading them, whatever you wanted to do, that clip producer could be doing that. But for this time, we're gonna exit out of here real quick. And uh, this clip is playing now in source nine for us. If I wanted to switch that, it would switch the video here. You can see how it's already being output to our program source. Now we're not live right now. We'll go live later on. But for now, this clip player is in the preview and it's currently in the program feed. But I wanna add another video. So I'm gonna click add video here. I'm selecting a video from my computer. If you were uploading one from your cloud drive connected to your TVU networks account, you're more than welcome to. But again, for this, I'm gonna hit from computer. It's gonna give me the basic search. I'm gonna scroll down. Uh, let's upload this intro video I have here. It's just a logo video. So if I want that to play, I'll click on here and it's gonna be broadcasting into source nine. Now again, what I wanna emphasize is that just because this is fuzzy here, this is not what's going out. This is saving you resources, right? To be able to guarantee that your footage is as good as possible as it leaves the TVU producer session in the cloud. So just because it's fuzzy here, what's really being broadcasted out is whatever was being put into the TVU clip player here, so the TVU logo for here, um, or any of these videos as well, okay? If you want it to replay, you can click on this logo here. I can click loop selected clip only, so it won't click. Um, at this, it'll stop. I can hit play all clips and stop at the end. There's a lot of options. So if you had a queue of videos that you put up and you had a 30 minute show and you wanted to have all your clips ready to go, you could line them all up, hit play, and then you not have to worry about anything else, right? Uh, you can play it from here. You can pause it. You can go to the next one. So your clip player, again, is how you control all your videos from there. Now, if I wanted to bring in a YouTube video via, via a URL, so just the YouTube link, Right, I'll click on the one that says add IP video. I'll click IP video and you see it right here. It says add, I'll click on add. I will give this a name. It's gonna be TVU RPS video. I have the URL ready to go over here. This is a video of our TVU RPS. I will hit save. This is now uploading the system. This won't go away. This is now going to live until you delete it. That URL is going to live in your producer session, even when you exit out of it or when you shut it down. So you don't have to upload these every single time. I will hit TV RPS video. I will hit add to source. And now we've got source nine and source 10 that we're able to play with. So if I click on source 10, which is the IP video, you can see I have two different things playing. The left side, as you already know, is our preview. The right side is the program feed. So if I want to switch, I can just hit video cut right here and they will go through. Again, it'll switch back. If I wanted to monitor the sound next to the number, it says nine right here. I'll turn on sound monitoring. Hit sound there. Now it's playing. Apologies if that was loud. It was loud for me. But you're able to monitor, you know, if you're getting uh, peaking and things of that nature over here. So there's no video, there's no sound playing of this video right now. So again, we're going to want that. I can slide the video sounds up and down. Maybe it's a video with a nice little nuanced sound in the background. You don't want to overpower your commentators, your talents that are talking over it. You know, you're able to have full control over that. Uh, same thing with the RPS video. I can mute the sound. I can monitor it, whatever I want to do. But I'm going to turn the sound off here. 
I'll do a video cut real quick. And it's as simple as that to bring in videos. Uh, you don't have to worry about uploading them every single time you come in. They're going to live in your TV producer session for every single time. And you can remove them as well. But that clip player is a very, very, very simple and a very powerful tool to make sure that all the videos you need are going to be in one easy to find place. If you upload a bunch of videos, you can search them. I can type TVU and it's only going to show the ones that have TVU in it. Or if you were doing a basketball game, you can type basketball or a player, however they were labeled, you could search and find them very, very, very quickly. It's as simple as that. Thank you so much.